Yep. Start it from the beginning because we can put it up. There you go. Oh, you good morning, Cass. We apologize for technical difficulty. Difficulty. <laughs> We're having a rough day, <laughs> but there is pizza here, and it is available for teachers yeah. in the hospitality room at lunch. At lunch. So go there and get some teachers, not students. You're not allowed. Also, due to unforeseen circumstances, recycle will not happen Friday, as stated in the blurb. It has been changed to Tuesday, May 13th. Please ensure that all bins from classrooms are emptied on that day. A lot of them have not been emptied for quite some time, and the ants are marching one by one. Hurrah. The afternoon staff will be changing all bags the night of the 13th to help get rid of this problem. It's time for sports with Connor and special guests. Today with Alex Lyson from Rush. Ah, okay. In hockey action oh, last night. I was proxying my beginning. Yeah, whatever. Like, I'm, I'm the star. We, yeah. We do this, and people just... Bottle. Yeah, that, 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 that don't kill me. Can only make me stronger. I need you to hurry up now. Cause I can't wait much longer. I know I got to be right now. Cause I can't get much stronger. Man, I've been waiting all night now. That's how long I've been on ya. Hi there, Cass. Mr. Cunningham, your sports reporter, and I have a special guest today, Alex Roberts. How are you, Alex? I'm good. You? Good. Now, first off, before I start, every show I like to talk about the bottles that you can get down at the office. This one's $8, and to me, I kind of like this one better, Alex. It's got a little mouth thing, and you can drink it. You don't have to unscrew it. Whatever. Awesome. Get them in the office and drink that free water that we're offering down in the hallway. Yep. Start us off, Alex. And in hockey night last night, the Mighty Ducks beat the Kings 3-2. to two. Uh, To get back in this series, the Kings lead two games to one. Wow. And in the other game, rookie Matt Fraser scored 119 into overtime to give the Boston Bruins a 1-0 victory over the Montreal Canadiens to even their Eastern Conference second round playoff. This is a young guy scoring in overtime. It was, a, it was nice. It was nice to see. The victory even uh, even the best of seven series and two to two with game five set for Saturday night in Boston. It'll be a rock in Boston on Saturday. A two year extension for Randy Carlisle. Really? Really? Yeah. Uh, Despite a so. sunning, stunning late season collapse that cost the Toronto Maple Leafs a playoff spot, general manager Dave Nonis believes Randy Carlisle is still the right man to lead the club. Really? Really, Dave? Really, Alex? I think so. The Jays win again this, uh, this time 12-6 uh, to six over, the, over, over the Phillies. 12-6. to six. The Jays are killing everybody. In local sports, is what we've been waiting for. The boys and girls soccer teams start their season today at Huron Park. That's going to be fantastic. And speaking of soccer, the girls soccer team is excused at 1.30 for their uh, game at Huron Park. Right on. So they got to get out of here at 1.30 to get there. They play at 2.30. The boys play at 4. All female fastball players are reminded of the practice Monday at Southside Park from 2.30 to 4. Girls are reminded to bring all necessary equipment as well as paying their $25 player fee. Well, Alex, thanks for being on my show. No That's problem. it for us. We say goodbye, right? Yep. Goodbye. See you later. New York trippers, we leave in just 19 days. Time to get your $70 payable to cash to miss more or to the online payment system. We can't leave until we have this fee. Our parent meeting to share the finalized itinerary will be on Monday, May 12th at 6 p.m. in the library. See you then. <coughs> Those students who signed up already for the 30-hour famine are reminded to meet in the gymnasium after school today with a completed form and payment. Only those students who signed up will be allowed to participate. Good luck on your fast and hope you had a big breakfast this morning. The Canadian Mental Health Association of Oxford County Woodstock Hospital and family of Tyler Maskell, former CAS student, are joining together to organize the annual Time to Change Minds Walkathon. Following the recent death of Tyler in 2013, family members have chosen to honor his life by a walkathon. The first event last year raised over $25,000, and together we will walk again in 2014. We will continue to raise awareness and provide extra resources to provide support to families and individuals living with mental illness. The second annual Time to Change Minds Walk on Sunday, May the 25th, 2014, will take place at College Avenue Secondary School track, where Tyler attended. A bursary has also been donated to the school in his name. We now go to a special interview with Jose.
Well, thanks a lot for having me. I'm really nervous. Long time, a long time fan of the show. So I hope you don't mind. I brought a few notes. I don't uh, forget anything. Oh, so you won't screw up? Oh, I hope not. Oh, yeah. No, I don't want you to screw up. No. So, yeah. No. Yeah. Perfect. All right, uh, ladies and gentlemen, I am with Mr. Ganyo, and we are, he is here to discuss about the water uh, bottles that we are actually currently selling at uh, College Avenue Secondary School. So thank you for coming. Okay, great. Yeah. Thank, thank you very much. So would you like to uh, emphasize or give us more information on what's going on and with these water bottles? Sure, sure. We have uh, two water bottles currently for sale in the front office of the school. Hold the logo right. Uh, there's two kinds available. We have a, a large water bottle. Uh, this kind has a, has a large spout. And then we also have a smaller water bottle. And this one has a kind of a pour spout. So whatever your preference is. The large bottle is 750 milliliters. And the small bottle is 500 milliliters. Uh, they both have a wide mouth which is very handy for dropping in ice cubes or also for cleaning with a, with a scrub brush. Hmm, that's pretty neat. How much do they go for? Uh, they go for, thank you for asking, the small one goes for $8 and the large one goes for $10. Ooh, $10. Yes. Dang. Yes, no, no tax. Definitely get the smaller one. The other one looks ugly. <laughs> but um, yeah, continue, sorry. <laughs> okay, so they're made of uh, stainless steel with our school logo and school colors on the outside. Uh, they're also BPA free, which is a substance known to cause uh, male pattern baldness. I only wish I could have warned uh, Mr. Paul 10 years ago. Um, these are made, these make a great gift idea for any CAS alumni, any current students or any relatives. So um, not only the water bottles are you, but it's um, also for a charity as well, right? That's right, all for the, the funds, thank yeah. you. All the funds uh, from the bottle sales will go towards our outdoor classroom, which we are, if we plan to start next year. Well, uh, thank you for coming. Thank Mr. you. Gagno. Thank you very much for having me, Jose. Yeah. And so uh, that was Mr. Gagneau, and he was uh, here to discuss about the water bottles and about the, uh, the money that is going out to the outdoor classroom, right? That's right. Okay. That's right. So uh, back to the studio. Bye. 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 Hey, Lucas. Cast TV, man.